Hi, I'm Nick Shipley. I'm the Teamster lead at Draft Horse Town of the Calgary Stampede. Being we didn't get to have 10 days of fun down in Calgary, I figured I'd show you guys what we used to do there all the time. I'm here at the Hotel Homestead and I've got these two beautiful Belgians. These are from the Stampede Ranch, which is a historic ranch down here in our Longview Foothills area. So what we'll do first is we'll actually go up and we'll get the collar. Now this is made of long straw and this is gonna go right up and over their neck. And the reason for this it is it's basically padding so that the horse can pull and do his job and work and doesn't have to go against anything. These boys are super good at taking the collar. Head. Boy. And then you just slide it right up and over and fit it down on them. Next we're going to go and we're going to grab the harness. Now how we grab the harness is we start at the back and then work our way right to the front and we grab those canes. We'll go through the pieces here together afterwards. But first, I'll just lift those up and set them gently on the horse and then put up the back pad and then up the rump. And he was polite enough to fire it on me when I lifted it. So now I'm going to take these, which are known as the hames, and I'm going to grab them and set them nicely on the collar. Get them nice and tight, and then I'll do up the hand strap at the front here. So you can see it a little better. And we're just going to tighten that right up. And we want to make sure that that is tight enough that I can't lift this off the collar at all. Next, we're going to go for the martingale. straps right across and then we drop this that goes underneath in the belly band this isn't like your normal riding horses we're just gonna put this on kind of semi tight doesn't need to be right tight up against them it's really only there to hold this strap and then we'll come back and we'll do the quarter straps We have a full line all the way from the front to the back. So this learning gale, if he stops and we pull on it, you can see that it'll tighten on the back. And that right there is how he actually can back up with this harness. So when he backs up, he'll tighten on this and he'll, he can back up with that rear end or he can use it as his brakes. Then we come down, so from the collar, we're going to come down, these are known as tugs. And these are what we'd hook to a wagon. So that right there is where the horse can pull from and gets all of his power. And it's just that simple to harness a horse. So we throw that harness on. Next, what we'd have to do is put the bridle on. Of course, we'd have to hook up back as well and put all his harness on. And then we tie them together and then we could go do some field work we could drive a wagon we could do all the fun stuff that we can do with draft horses but for now there's your harness demo hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you at 2021 stampede